you invest x if that x keeps growing whatever investment you've made in x is your हेलो नमस्ते पेचेक प्रोज आई एम मनीष आउज एंड दिस इज पेचेक टू प्रॉफिट इंडिया फर्स्ट यूट्यूब चैनल डेडिकेटेड टू योर फाइनेंशियल फ्रीडम ऑन दिस चैनल आई क्रिएट न्यू वीडियोस ऑन फोर्थ फोर्टीन एंड ट्वेंटी फोर्थ ऑफ एवरी मंथ आई मेक दीज वीडियोस बोथ इन हिंदी एंड इंग्लिश सो यू कैन वॉच दम इन लैंग्वेज ऑफ योर प्रेफरेंस आई मेक दीज वीडियोज आर डिस्कस विथ यू अबाउट योर मनी योर सैलरी योर पेचेक्स हाउ टू मैनेज दैट हाउ टू क्रिएट इन्वेस्टमेंट्स हाउ टू मैनेज योर मनी इन सच अ वे दैट इट ग्रोज फॉर यू इट वर्क फॉर यू एंड सो दैट यू कैन get one step closer to your financial freedom with every video that you watch over here if you are new to this channel and if you've come across this channel for the first time i would request you to please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon this way you will get notified for every video that i post out also if you have any questions whatsoever with regards to your money how to manage your money how to invest your money why are investments important please feel free to put any and all of your questions down in the comments below so i can read them and i can get back to you if you ask me a question which requires an elaborate answer be rest assured that i'll make a video explain explaining the same to you in a video like this otherwise i'll just reply to you on a sap basis thank you so much in today's video i'm going to be talking to about two words which form the entire crux of your investment portfolio these are asset and liabilities i'm sure you've heard these words multiple times you've read them over and over in news channels in your newspapers in any book of finance that you must have picked up but if you don't understand what exactly do they mean you'll never be able to get your head around the real concept of asset and liabilities first of all let me clarify at this stage that asset and liability as words are used in two areas one is accounting and finance where an accountant talks about assets of a company assets of a firm the meaning of asset in accounting and finance terms is slightly different but in your financial freedom or your investment parlance asset and liabilities mean a little different and here i'm only going to be talking to you about the words asset and liabilities from a financial freedom perspective or an investment perspective as you know on this channel i create videos in the most simplest of the language possible so keeping that trend alive i'll just explain to you asset in the most simplest way any purchase that helps you increase the value of your investment or the purchase value is an asset as simple as that you can make money on your investment in multiple ways Vis-a-vis -vis capital gains, interest, rental income are some of the most prominent examples. If you are confused thinking what exactly is capital gains, let me explain it to you in the most simplest way possible. Imagine you made an investment in an instrument X. Let's say you bought shares of company X at rupees hundred, and you made these purchases five, ten, twenty years ago. and today when you are trying to liquidate liquidate means sell today when you are trying to liquidate these shares the value of the shares of company x today is 400 rupees so it basically means today the value of your investment in company x stands at 4x or 4 times more than the amount that you had invested to begin with in such a case 3x or 300 rupees is your capital gains on rupees 100 of your investment that exactly is what capital gains means so do you realize this is how simple the whole concept of asset is you invest x if that x keeps growing whatever investment you've made in x is your asset moving on to liabilities liabilities is the exact opposite of asset if you've made a purchase which reduces the value of your investment or does not generate more income or more money on your purchase that purchase will be treated as liability in short assets generate more money or income liabilities do not generate any income let me try and explain to you liability with two most prominent examples the first example is a car most people consider car to be their asset but does your car generate more value for you not necessarily does it generate income absolutely not unless and until you are a cab driver or an uber driver or something like that yes cars do help make your life easier but it still does not generate income yes it helps you generate income by saving you time but car in itself does not generate income let's say if you wanted to go from place a to b a 5 lakh worth of a car would do the exact same job as a 25 lakh worth of a car so car in itself is not an asset the second most prominent example where people generally get confused is a house consider you living in a house that you own completely so you're not necessarily paying rent for that house but is that house generating income for you 
No. Yes, you obviously save on the rent that you would pay to a landlord if you were living in a rented house. But the house that you own where you are living does not generate rental income for you. Imagine if you had two houses, one where you were living and the second house, it would generate rental income. So that would be your asset. The house that you're living in is a liability. Let me clarify one thing over here. Your house that you're living in is a liability, but it also goes into your net worth. Now, what does the word net worth mean? Everything that you own, which has a financial value goes into your net worth. Your Overall investments go into your net worth, the house that you're living in is a part of your net worth, the car that you drive is a part of your net worth. All of these things are your net worth, but until they don't generate an extra income for you, a passive income for you, a parallel income for you, all of those things are liabilities. So I hope you've understood the whole concept of assets and liabilities and capital gains and all the, the small things that I spoke to you about in this video. If you are confused about any term in particular, please do not forget to add a comment and ask me all of your questions. I'll answer them for you as soon as possible. If you like this video, do not forget to hit the like button and share it with all the social media channels that you are active on. I'll now see you in the next video. Until then, please keep smiling. Take care of your loved ones and stay happy. Kaching.